And I had one cool thing happen this year. Mm. I got to make a piece for Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani. Did oh, I tell wow. you that? No, no, no. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. So, but they didn't buy it. No, it was a guy. I know who Gwen Stefani is. I don't know who the other person is. Blake Shelton is one of the biggest country music artists. Some people say he's as dumb as a fence post. I like him. I think he's funny, mm-hmm. regardless of his personal life choices. But he's on The Voice. He's a judge on The Voice. The Voice. The Voice. Okay, so we watched American Idol. It's like the new, better version of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did he put it up in his house? Uh, it's going in their house in Oklahoma. You yeah. think he's okay with you talking about it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Okay. It, it was. It was a gift. All right. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. So you, you're trying to get some cred in that kind of circle. No, I actually just made it as a gift to see what would happen. Oh, okay. What's happened? Well, so here's what happened. So he was coming to Oregon to do a show. Yeah. The Pendleton Whiskey Fest, which is held at the round, Pendleton Roundup Grounds in Pendleton, Oregon. And not related to the blanket company. Pendleton is a whiskey Well, company. there is a relationship because oh. Pendleton the Blanket Company has a mill in Pendleton, Oregon, and the Pendleton Roundup Grounds, they have a relationship with Pendleton. At some oh, I don't know the sure, exact... Sure, they're just companies that are aware of each other no no no. i mean there's some sort of an ongoing relationship hard to put a blanket in a bottle sure hard to put a bottle as a blanket christine angular reference <laughs> no do you need a bottle <laughs> not quite christina <laughs> come on over yeah i got it yeah <laughs> i texted you so the anyway the thing is vendleton Vendleton? Pendleton. What are we, in Germany? Ah, uh, yes, Vendleton. Vendleton, yes. No, Pendleton. That sounds like... Yeah, I got you, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, so I found out that he was coming. Mm-hmm. I emailed the event manager for the event, the guy that started the event, Andy McAnally. I'm coming for you. It's not a threat. What is it? Just a phrase. Are you putting up a booth or something? No. And I, I said, hey, can I sell my cow skulls at your event? Your people will love it. Because mm-hmm. there was like 30,000 people coming. Mm-hmm. And uh, Pitbull, you know Pitbull, the what artist? the event? The Pendleton Whiskey Fest. So Pendleton Whiskey mm-hmm. is a whiskey brand. Right, right, right. And now owned by Jose Cuervo. He's so owned by Hood River Stillers. A lot of whiskey companies come together. Nope. And do whiskey. No, it's all It's Pendleton just Pendleton whiskey because they're like the whiskey brand. So they host it. It's a, that many people come. 30,000, something like that. But, okay, so it's at the How stadium. How many whiskeys do they have? Whiskeys? No, Pendleton whiskey is their one whiskey. I don't know. Maybe they have more. I don't know. I don't buy it. I don't know. Okay. I don't know how many whiskeys they have. Probably. If, if, well, I mean, I've seen them. They have more than one. They might have like a black label and a normal. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know. So what is it? It's a carnival. There's got to be something that people are doing there. Pendleton Whiskey just... Fest is a music festival. Oh, it's music. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, I thought you got that. No, I didn't get that. Blake Shelton. Oh, there you go. Is the lead singer. Okay. He's the lead act, but also Pitbull. You know so, Pitbull? So he, when he got up on stage, he wore this. No, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> no, he was coming. So anyway, I got to the event manager. I said, hey. Can you, when you sell the skulls, he's like, these are really cool. My audience will like it. Then he pondered. He's like, you know what? Problem is nobody wants to carry around a cow skull at a music festival. Sure. sure. Like, You're right. Anyway, I was like, okay, how about I'll ship them for the people? They just sold that. He's like, too much work. I was like, okay, how about I just gift you one and you give it to Blake Shelton and say, this is from me. Got it from a local artist. Thank you for coming, Blake. Hope you come next year. So it was not a PR placement in the sense it didn't feel like a PR placement. Okay. It wasn't it wasn't me saying, give him my business card and tell him it no, it was literally you give this to the man. Yeah. And then turns out he did give it to the man. Yeah. He emailed me and said, I gave it to Blake. His manager loved it. He loved it. I was like, sweet. Maybe someday he'll post it on Twitter. Look at you, local artist. Whatever. And uh, and then I was like, Hmm, what if he just said that, and but he like sold it on Craigslist or kept it for himself? Yeah. Well, there was a country music artist, a gal from Portland, maybe, 
that opened for Blake at this show. Yeah. I saw that she was at the show and got a picture with him. I commented, in, or no, I, I messaged her and I said, congrats on opening for Blake. And then I said, um, I sent him a the skull that week. Oh, and man. she messaged me and said, I was there with him when he got it. He said, Gwen's going to love this. Oh, And wow. it's going in our house. Okay. And so I was like, okay, it happened. Okay. So I know it happened. Okay. And then I can actually tell people I made one for Blake Shelton. There it is. It's true. Nice. But, um, you know, I didn't get anything out of that. I just yeah. did it. Yeah. I just like to try weird stuff. Yeah.